Hello there, fishy friends. This is the Aqua Student, and welcome to another episode of Aqua Student's Aquariums. Now, before we get started, getting our hands wet in the 29 gallon tank, let's jump to a brand new intro video I made. I think it's a little bit more fitting than Planet Nano Aquascapes since I've kind of expanded uh, well beyond the nano range of things. So, anyway, let's get started. So here we have the 29 gallon New World Planted Aquarium and I say New World not South American community for a reason. A reason that of course you already know about because you've liked my Facebook page that's facebook.com slash aquastudent where you can receive more frequent updates on all the aquariums and everything else that's going on in my life. Now let's get back to the actual video. I recently attended the February meeting of the Pioneer Valley Aquarium Society. It's a wonderful, wonderful club based up in uh, Springfield, Massachusetts, and uh, it's a wonderful group of people. One of the members there uh, has been keeping Central American cichlids for quite a long time and has a very successful breeding group of Cryptoheros nanoludius. I hope I said that right. I'm pretty sure I said that right because it's a very fun word to say. Say it with me. Cryptoheros nanoluteus. Anyway, I have a group of six Cryptoheros nanoluteus. I gotta say it one more time. Uh, they're in here. These guys, of course, will grow to be a little bit too large for uh, this aquarium, at least for six in this aquarium. And that's why the, well, with six, hopefully I'm going to get a, at least one pair. Uh, the, that pair, would, whichever two of the six decides to, to match up nicely, they're going to become the sole, um, sole rulers of this aquarium, I guess you could call them. Uh, the other four, and most likely the angelfish, will be moved over to the 135, where I'll hopefully be able to get some more pairs out of them. So I'll give you guys a couple of close-ups of the Cryptoheros nanoludius, but I'm going to save them for, for another video where I can uh, really give them the attention that they deserve. But their yellow coloration is awesome, and I really love the blue eyes. I mean, that's just awesome to see. Anyway, let's get back to the real reason that I want to share a video with you guys. So this right here is what the scientific community would call a mess. But it's not just any old mess, it's a very pretty mess. We've got a few Anubias plants in here, as well as these little guys. Now also at the PVAS meeting, I was able to get, or, or well, jump in on a group order of Buste Philandra species Catherine. So these guys are a little rhizome plant, I believe they are um, from Brunei originally or, or that's where they grow naturally so it's a very very interesting plant it's I guess the best way I could describe it is it's a cross between an Anubius and a Cryptocorny it's a very interesting mix nice long leaves for for these guys and uh, an interesting rhizome plant so my goal will be to uh, first of all attach some uh, Anubius plants to well this guy who's going back into the uh, African Cichlid Grow Out tank but I also want to attach some of these um, rhizome plants to the driftwood that's in here. I think that would be a very nice addition, a very lovely addition. So we're going to get that started. And to do that, we're going to be going with some Loctite Super Glue Gel. There we go. I've got the Bucephalandra and the Anubius all glued down. I probably could have been a little bit more strategic with my gluing, but it doesn't really matter in the end. Uh, I could shave it off, all, all the excess stuff, but in a week or two there'll be enough algae cover or, well, plant growth, hopefully, to cover it all up. So we got the Buse Philandra species Catherine on this left side of the driftwood here. I'm hoping that this will be a nice uh, medium level light for it. Got it some nice space for it too. Uh, below it is Anubius. I wanted to plant that lower because Anubius definitely is a, a low light plant. Over on this other side I attached a small piece of Anubius on this joint here. Just try it out see how that goes. And in the back there's uh, an Anubius with, a, with some larger broader leaves. So here's the idea for the aquascape. On the back left side we've got water sprite doing quite well. I remember keeping this back when I had the 10 gallon running. 
and uh, I mean it's it's a very hardy plant looks nice and I think what I'm what I'd like to do is get pretty much that back left uh, left corner all filled up with water spray they do a great job of hiding the equipment as well as just looking awesome so just to the right of the water sprite we have some Ludwigia pieces and I'd like to use this to try and break up the greens with, uh, with a little bit of red, maybe some pinks, some oranges, you know, all those great colors that come out of the Ludwigia species. Continuing on we have some Sag and into some more of the leafy plants. Now these guys, I really need to find the name of them, but they've been growing absolutely fantastically. I think that might be one of the centerpiece plants that I use in this aquarium. Well there you have it, here's one final look at the aquarium. Today was quite a successful day, we introduced a few new plants, uh, attached some rhizome plants using some Loctite super glue to the driftwood, as well as rearranged a little bit of the aquascape, gave some plants more room to grow and put a little bit more of an organi organization scheme into this. Thank you all very much for watching, and once again, please like my Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash aquastudent. I'll post more frequent updates there, as well as uh, give you guys a little bit more of an insight onto my everyday life, which I know you all are very interested to see. Thank you all very much for watching, and tank on.